Welcome back, and this week's Knit Along is on the road. You can see we're definitely out of the studio, but we're still talking yarn this morning. Yes, and actually really a beautiful place for the Collingwood Art Center here, which is just gorgeous, and I think a you know, great place to make some yarn, dye some yarn. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of creative juices going. Yes. And maybe talking juices, maybe let's talk dye. So we have Michelle Grimm. She yes. is actually um, the artist behind Misfit Yarn. So good morning, yes. Michelle. Good, good morning. morning. And you yes. may recognize her. She's a state representative, former council member. So thanks for taking some time. We know Absolutely. you're busy. Yes. But what does it mean to be able to step away from politics sometimes and, you know, talk about yarn? Yeah. So um, I've been a knitter for over 30 years. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I've been dying for about 17. So this is, you know, something I'm doing a lot longer than I have politics. Wow. So, you know, I'm ex you know excited to be able to explore kind of a creative side. Side, mm -hmm. um, while I'm, you know, We're stepping you know, away, yeah. 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 And uh, that's the thing, how do you, one, find the time, but is mm -hmm. it so relaxing to have, you know, yarn to come back to besides yeah. the politics? Absolutely. So, you know, I've had to scale back a little bit um, since going down to Columbus, but that's okay. Um, you know, I'm still able to kind of create things and um, play with colors and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm glad to still be able to do this and also serve my constituents. Well, yes. we, we appreciate that mm -hmm. and appreciate you taking time to show us some of your work. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm looking at this, Diane, and just some really beautiful colors happening mm -hmm. here. Uh, walk you. us through your process a little bit about how you dye yarn. Sure. Um, so there's a couple of ways that I dye. This is called immersion dyeing. Okay. So usually you put it in like a pot with one color and then plop it in there, start around. Mm -hmm. The whole um, batch. This is, you know, a different a different technique. I usually put it in like a steam pan mm -hmm. or a tray and um, pour or speckle. They're called speckled. Um, these are speckled. Mm -hmm. um, part of this is speckled here. Um, so I use, you know, various tools to, to get that effect. Oh, all yeah. right. Yeah. So, and you've probably tweaked it and, and done all sorts <laughs> of things over yes, the years in this process. <laughs> yep, yep. Definitely my process has refined a little <laughs> bit over the years. And the beauty of Misfit Yarns, though, is that it's small batch. Talk yes. about what that means and what makes it so special. So, yeah. So, um, when you get something, like, when you get a hand-dyed yarn, mm -hmm. it's basically one of a kind, even though they're technically, you know, reproducible. Sure. Um, they're not matches. Right. Um, because they are hand dyed. So I usually dye in batches of two to four per batch. Um, so when you do purchase hand dyed yarns, a lot of uh, indie dyers will say, purchase enough for a project. Mm -hmm. And then also you want to alternate those skeins because there's so many variations. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this one, you know, it's the same colorway, but there's so many variations in right. in, 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 in each skein. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what that means. It's just like I, I dye it in, you know, batches of two to four, depending on, you know, what I'm working on at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And how long does your process take to go from the beginning to the end? A couple hours. Okay. Um, yeah, it takes a couple of hours. Um, it takes time to dye them, to, to heat them up, to cool, cool off, mm -hmm. uh, rinse them out, and then to dry. So, you know, a couple of hours, and then it takes a couple, maybe like a day or two to dry. To dry, so, yeah. Yes. So, okay. yeah. But still faster than I thought. I thought it would yeah. take, you know, even a couple of days, but considering you're maybe talking just simply two days. Yeah. 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 The, so. the drying part is the longest. Yes. 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 We have to wait for it patiently. Yes. Uh, you know, you've been knitting for so long, but what made you decide that you wanted to try your hand at dyeing? So, um, I started about 17 years ago mm -hmm. um, because I was actually learning how to spin yarn oh. and I kind of wanted to play with my own colors. Cool. So I, you know, I was just like, let's learn how to dye. So I bought a little dye kit on Etsy one day and just started playing around and here I am. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Making all of these and so many. Yes. Um, of course, they're made here in Toledo. So yes. name some of the places that maybe we can go and, you know, grab a skein of yarn. 
Well, um, currently I have a website. Mm -hmm. It's misfityarns.com. Mm -hmm. I'm also on Etsy. Um, I've done a couple of trunk shows around. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been at uh, Chickadee before. I've been at Handmade Toledo before. Mm -hmm. um, but my website's probably the best the best way to if you to, to, to get to get them and grab yeah. a couple, you know, to finish your project, project. And you want yes. to make sure they're not going to match exactly because they're all right. different. But right. you know, and I'm also looking at the different different kinds of yarn. Do you deal with generally the same um, weight of weight yarn? Or? No. Um, so this, you know, this is the sock weight um, with the nylon in it. This is this is worsted. Mm -hmm. So I do have some worsted. I do have some DK. Um, so yeah, I do I do different weights as well. And yeah. do you do any custom batches? Yes. Oh, okay. see? So we can make our own colors, some good cool. day colors maybe? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. I'm already seeing a couple here that, that, yeah. would, that would work. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting <laughs> close. Green, purple, yeah. Yes. So we'll have to give, you know, mm -hmm. give it another try. We've mm -hmm. done a little bit of dyeing, nice. but mm -hmm. yeah, not in small batches. So no. we'll have to add that to the to-do list. Yeah, as she said, you start out small and who knows? Right Maybe out. someday we will be doing our own. Yeah. yeah, there you go. They look yeah. beautiful, and I like the speckled ones too. They're yes, shimmery. Because yeah, you have so many have speckled, you have some glitter. Mm -hmm. There's so many different options. So of course, you know, we can find them all online. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. of course, are, is there any you know of those stores that you have coming up? Maybe around the March time frame that we could connect at maybe like a trunk show somewhere. So there is uh, a Bowling Green has a, a Black uh, Swamp Market Day ah, okay. at the end of March. Mm -hmm. um, it's the last Saturday of March, okay. and I should be there. Okay, put yeah. that on your calendars, yes. too, because yes. there's probably going to be a lot of great stuff happening. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and thank you, Michelle, though, for yes. joining us this morning yes. and, you know, letting us come and visit the studio oh, as well. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll have yeah. fun in Columbus. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah, thanks yes. for the time today. Of course, though, there's still more good day yet to come.